hello hello long time no see i uh took a week off didn't wear makeup didn't do anything it was nice i enjoyed my time i had a, my niece from kansas come visit we had a blast i had a blast i don't know if she had fun but it was a makeup free week anyways we're back at it this week um unfortunately i was not able to record yesterday but it was really cool kind of maroony pink sparkly look you can check it out on my instagram looks by whitney but today we're doing something to go with this black top so uh, i've already moisturized my face i'm currently using this equate brand uh daily facial moisturizer with broad spectrum spf 15 sunscreen my last moisturizer expired in february and i need to replace it so um this is a dupe for the cetaphil cetaphil however you want to say it um version and it's like ten dollars cheaper so we went with that um let's see we're going to get a pin clip really and let's clip stuff back and we're gonna start with our eyes <clears throat> so over my time off i also battled pink eye which was fun thank you to my two-year-old for giving me that Luckily, we were the only ones who had it. Nobody else got it. So that was nice, but unfortunate. Blew through two pairs of contacts. One because I got pink eye germs on it. And another one because for the first time in probably two decades, I closed my contact in the lid of my contact case. My very last contact. I had to reschedule my eye appointment three times. Luckily, my eye doctor's office was able to throw me a spare pair of contacts to get me through until I can get in for my exam next week so I can wear glasses but it's difficult for me because I have really bad eyes and glasses give me headache and I can't see as well and they get dirty and when you have kids they get grabbed and I don't want them to get broken so it's a whole thing um I feel like I want to do like black and silver right that sounds good I've got these new dangly earrings from the simply vera wing collection at kohl's they kohl's had a huge sale so all their clearance stuff was an extra like 50 percent off i went to two kohl's and bought all the vera wing jewelry i could find that i didn't already have and that i would reasonably wear so there were some like super long sparkly things that although i would love to have them it just didn't make sense because i would never wear them um but i ended up buying 10 or 15 different pieces, a couple of necklaces, several, several pairs of earrings. And I was getting them for like two or three dollars a pair. It was an amazing sale. I even texted my mom and was like, hey, go to Kohl's and buy all the Vera Wing jewelry you can find. I don't think she did though. That's okay, I forgive her. Um no. I should have probably picked out eyeshadow before I started doing all this because you know we might use this silver if we go if we end up going that direction no definitely no maybe no no okay well i am wasting all my time trying to find i should oh here we go black and this and this I'm gonna put all you guys away and we're gonna get started so I did wash all my brushes and disinfect them after the pink eye scare they were due to be washed anyways um, but absolutely did not want to reinfect myself even though I'm pretty sure I only used one brush on the day before I actually started showing symptoms it got put in the dirty brush cup with all the other dirty brushes, so everything got a nice bath. So, reminder, go on ahead and wash your brushes if you haven't done it in a while. I try to do mine once a month if I can. Sometimes that's not realistic given my schedule and family obligations, but it's a good idea. Some people just buy new brushes. I would love to be some people, but I'm not. And me and I need my brushes all right so I used naked from the original urban decay naked palette just to kind of create transition use my morphe 
concealer to prep my lids. I am coming in on the uh, Pat McGrath Celestial Nirvana Bronze Bliss Palette. And I'm just picking up this black on my brush. And just putting it on my face. I am on camera for about seven hours today, so I want something that's going to stick around and make me noticeable, which I will be anyways because I am the one who is going to be talking for most of those seven hours, so hurry for me. I'm trying to get this other side to match, kind of. I don't think I want to do silver. I think I want to do like a really dark sparkly. I think I have. I think there's one in the uh, one of the Star Wars whatever you call this five packs. <laughs> I think it's in the Sith Seduction one. We're gonna find out. Mm, okay, I'm digging. <clears throat> Oh, what do you know? Sith seduction. Oh, it's blue. I thought it was black. Ooh, no, that one's red. <laughs> Sith seduction. Completely different one. Darth Hater. This will be kind of hard to see, but it's a kind of dark reddish. Maybe if I did black over the lid and then I can come in with some of this, it won't be so red. I'm going to try and see what happens. So I'm just going to tap a little black on. I don't want like super black under here. Probably better tools for this than a fluffy brush, but that's what we're using right now. We are going to use Darth Hader. This is from Glamour Doll Eyes. Unfortunately, they went out of business a few years ago, but I was able to snatch up a few final pieces from them before they did, and I am very grateful to have them, even though I don't use them nearly enough, because I can't get more, so I don't want to run out. All right, just tapping off the excess, see if I can... I can't really see, so I'm just going to... Mm, very undramatic. All right, well, that doesn't really show up at all. Okay, that's unfortunate. And it's not giving me the effect that I'm looking for. Maybe next time, Glamour Doll Eyes. All right, we're going to do the blue, I guess. This one's nice and shimmery. Okay, I like that. That's good. Come in on the other eye. Okay, that's fun. I like that. I'm pleased. Thank you, Pat McGrath. You always got my back. All right, so well, while we're doing Pat McGrath, we're just going to grab our Pat McGrath Labs Permagel Ultra Glide Eyeliner. And good news is we don't have to do like a super good job today. I'm really going to just push this 
into your lash line. Boom. So hard for me to see to do this when my left eye sucks. I'm going to have to look in the mirror. Ours is the phone for this one. Alright, I think I'm going to go ahead and do a little tight line in here. Okay, nailed it. Okay, so we are into a new mascara. Same thing with the uh, L'Oreal. I still have it. Telescopic. I need to throw it in the trash, but it's off the test the table, uh, going away because it got contaminated. So we are using It Cosmetics Superhero. Uh, this is my first time using an It Cosmetics anything. I think. Um, this is one of the mascaras I got at Ulta when they did their half off on their high-end mascaras at Christmas time. And so far I really like it. I did use it yesterday and the day before I had a little bit on too because I went out in public. Um, I really like the brush. Like it's a big brush but it's not like super dense. So it's kind of easy to like really get it into your lashes without getting clumpy. And I feel like it gives me pretty good coverage of my lashes. Sorry, my contact dried out a little bit. Come over to this side. Oh, my cheeks are extra pink today. I managed to take a shower alone by myself. Usually I have my two and a half year old with me, so that's super fun. Uh, I don't mind, she's fun. She likes to play in the water, but I exfoliated my face and my arms and my legs and my feet and everything else. So that was nice. And then I really just wanted to do like an under eye mask today. I was like, you know what? I deserve a mask. I have some in my mask drawer. And it turns out that I don't have any in my mask drawer. So if you have a recommendation for some good eye masks, I would love to hear them or, you know, read them in their comments. Oh, what I did have was a lavender infused gel mask. It was a optional leave on or wash off. And when I first put it on, it felt kind of sticky. So I was like, yeah, I'll probably wash this off. But once it's set for a few minutes, it dried out really nicely. Left my skin feeling really soft and smooth, so I used that. And I liked it. It was from oh, the place that does the apricot scrub. Can't remember off the top of my head the name. Freeman, Freeform, something like that. I could be way off. I have no idea. Alright, let me just try to get some mascara on these bottom lashes. Brush might be a little bit big for me for this particular. Act, but that's okay. We make it work. Because I am going to be on camera. It doesn't have to be perfect because you can't really see it that well anyways. But still want it to look nice for me. All right, while I let that dry out a little bit, we're going to do something about these light brows. So yesterday, I did kind of, like, draw a little arch in. I thought they looked nice yesterday. Probably never be able to recreate that. You can see a before and after for yesterday's look on my Instagram. Uh, if you want, 
go check it out. But today, yeah, I'm worried a little bit less because I'm pressed for time. I have a lot to say while I do this. I'm just swiping my pencil trying to hold my face still. Hmm. Okay. This needs to like Okay, we got brows. Bam. Okay, mascara should be dry, which means I can come in with my little bit of foundation. I'm using the Matte Poreless Fit Me Foundation from Maybelline. Because I was not born with it. It's definitely Maybelline. And Pat McGrath and Morphe and It Cosmetics. <laughs> Everybody else. But I do really like this foundation. If you're looking for a good drugstore foundation that gives pretty decent coverage, but isn't, for me, cakey, drying, anything like that, this is a really good option. And I like a matte look, um, which is, can be hard to achieve because of the sunscreen and all my on my uh, moisturizers. But this does a pretty good job of keeping me matte, which is my preference. Trying to tone down some of this pink. It's really pink. Okay. Ooh, yeah. Ooh, we're running out of time. We're running out of time. I guess we're okay. And of course, I'm going to use the matte fit me upside down. Poreless, matte poreless powder in classic Avra. Set that. Go all over a little bit to just tone down the shinies. Okay, I don't think I ended up using you at all. Put all these things back in my drawer so nothing gets attacked by a two-year-old. I think we're going to do a pink blush today. So I'm going to break out the Morph Bridgerton collection. This is Love at First Blush. And I'm going to come in here for this guy. Actually, I'm going to go here. I know it's got like blush and highlight. Okay, I like that. One minute and a half. We're gonna do lips. We're gonna do red today because why wouldn't we? Uh, this is Bo from Jacqueline Cosmetics. Uh, ordered through Morphe. I am going to do a liner. This is a Pat McGrath liner. Um, Bloodlust. Okay. <clears throat> Hard to talk while you're putting on lip liner, especially if you're not good at it and want to do a decent job. All right, I love this. It's nice and bright. Uh, 
All right, we are at 20 minutes. In fairness, I spent several minutes at the top of this talking and not putting on any makeup, so I'm gonna give myself the time to take the hair down. All right, here is today's look. Mm, I love this, it's already dry. Not cakey, not sticky. Really like that uh, liquid lipstick from Jacqueline. All right, here we go. This is our look for the day. So thanks for stopping by. Feel free to give me a follow. And yeah, see you next time. Bye.